Hi, um, I'm back with another video for makeup. Um, today I'm going to be talking about what the title says, mascara and lip gloss. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite lip gloss it is lip glosses, I guess. Um, one of them, it's it seems a little weird, but this is... Um, it's Too Faced Mood Swing Emotionally Activated Lip Gloss. It doesn't actually go by your emotion, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they want it to be like, oh, whatever mood you're in, it's going to make it that, like a mood ring. But I'm pretty sure it's basically just goes to the same shade every time. And it's it. they have this in a bright pink and this purple. And... It's really not all that purple, it's more like a pinkish color, but the pink one, if you buy the pink one, it's really, really, really bright pink. And although I used to be in love with that one when I was younger, now looking back at it, it's kind of unnatural looking and it's not even like, I'd just go with the purple one because it's an actual lip color and it looks really cute. So if you look at it, that's the color that it turns out. And it's a really cute, it looks more pink, right? Yeah, and so it says gloss turns from plum to your perfect shade of pink berry. So it is supposed to get, go kind of pink, but I love it. And it's really cute. It'll turn a really good color and it just looks good, especially like with my skin color. I think it looks good. I don't know if it's for everyone, but I think that everyone should try it at least because I really like it. Another one is, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's Kose or Kose. And it's C-O-S-E, there you go. And it's called Hint of Mint. And it does kind of have that, like, if you use <coughs> if you use lip plumper, it kind of has that little tingly feeling. But it's, um, I really like it. It's just like any other lip gloss. It's just a nice, I like this shade of pink. It's kind of a corally color. And it's, um, it's really good just for any day use, you know, and it looks really good. And then, I don't know if I, oh, I do. Then this one is my absolute favorite. I used to use it all the time. It's a Mary Kay item. It's MH13 Pink Diamonds. Pink Diamonds, yeah. And it's a really cute color. You can't see it very well here because of the weird glare off of my computer. But I absolutely love it. It's a really cute color, and it just kind of adds that little touch to your lips. And I've been using this one since forever. Like, I before I can even remember, my mom, one of her friends was one of those Mary Kay people where they do, they have um, little setups at their house where they sell it back. And, um, and I said, oh, can you get me some lip gloss? So my mom did, and I'm obsessed with it. So again, it's Pink Diamonds by Mary Kay. It's it's in their signature collection. So it says Nourishine Lip Gloss. So I, I absolutely love it. So that's all for lip gloss, but now I'm going to talk about mascara. Right now, I'm wearing this, which is Maybelline New York Pulse Perfection Waterproof Vibrating Mascara. But... They no longer sell this. This was my absolute favorite, but of course, as most things happen to me, as soon as I found one that I absolutely loved, they discontinued it. But just because they discontinued this doesn't mean that they're done with all of this in general. So this is just, um, I'm pretty sure they're not doing the pulse perfection type anymore because my mom found this one, which is um, somewhat like it, but um, this one's actually different. I'll tell you about this one later, but they still sell this, just I'm pretty sure in, without the pulse. But it still works pretty well, and so if you find this one anywhere, if it's discontinued, but the place around, if a place around you still happens to have it, I would definitely go for it. It's really good. I love the brush on this. It's not too thick, but it has the perfect size bristles, and it doesn't... It doesn't, um, if you know what, I, I'll explain this, is if the brush you're using isn't good, it will collect too much mascara on it, and it makes this noise when it's coming off, and that's it pulling it off. Some brushes don't, they get either not enough or way too much mascara on the brush, and then it just makes your 
eyelashes look completely messed up. So I hate that. But um, this is perfect. So if you find this in a store around you, I would definitely go for it. Again, that's Maybelline New York Pulse Perfection Waterproof Vibrating Mascara. And then this one is supposedly a lot like it. And it's Revlon Fabulash. I think that's kind of creative. Um, it's a volumizer one. Um, usually... I just go, I don't go for a tip, certain one, but I know some people like ones that are more volumizing and th some people like ones that are more um, lengthening. This one is volume, um, so if you're looking for a volumizing one, it's here it is. It's in number 022 and it's the color is black. So I, I don't tend to use other color mascaras just because my natural hair color is black and then everything, it just... It, the way it looks on me is better. It's better black than the brown. Or some people use white. Another one that I just got that I haven't opened quite yet is this Lash Blast. Another volumizing one. It's um a cover girl. This one is the Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara. Cover girl is, tends to be safe. Everyone tends to like it because if you ever watch this show, um... Um, with Tyra Banks, um, what's it called? Um, Next Top Model. They are always doing stuff with CoverGirl. So CoverGirl tends to be a safer one. And so this would be a good one. Again, this is a mega volume. Um, waterproof. Always good in the summer. Summer's coming up. Woohoo! Anyways, another one. I've never seen this one, but my mom got it for me. And it's Almay One Coat Nourishing Mascara. It's thickening and voluminescent. Whatever that means. I'm guessing it has something to do with volume. So it's, again, waterproof. 421 Black um, Almay. And 100% thicker lashes is what it's guaranteed. So um, if I ever, if once I try this, I'm definitely going to try a review because I haven't seen it and I'm sure other people haven't either. So um, I'll show you guys what this looks like. Right now, I told you I'm using this right now. Of course, the one that's discontinued. I'm also wearing my Benefit eyeliner that I talked about in my past two videos. And I'm wearing my Mary Kay lip gloss. And from my um, Color Instinct palette, I'm wearing a white eyeshadow. And I'm using a um, Revlon photo, sh photo shoot ready um, powder. All of these, I tend to like them. They go good together. So, yeah, that's my, this is my normal makeup. But um, these are my favorites. Oh, and one last thing is for mascara. I know this looks weird, but this is my um, eyelash curler. Some people see the other way where it's like, I don't know, it doesn't tend to be like this, it tends to be two, like two circles and you clamp it, but this one is a little bit weirder shaped, but it works really well. I can tell you that, like this is my favorite, I love this so much. It, um, I got it when I got this, um, I got this mascara set, with, which came with like 10 or 20 different types of mascaras. The mascaras I wasn't too fond of because they're all really thick and globular, if you know what I mean. But I am in love with this, and it's Tarte, or however that's pronounced. So, yes, you should go try these and watch more videos and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.